Ecosystems Transformation in Southern Africa for One Health Project, Foster Health for short, is evaluating the human, environmental and animal health implications of ongoing changes in the food systems of Malawi, South Africa, Tanzania and Zambia. Across Southern Africa, a combination of environmental and climatic changes and external shocks to supply chains, including those resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic, are creating new challenges for food systems. In this context, food system transformation is central to national and regional strategies for improving human, animal and environmental health, as well as achieving broader positive social and economic outcomes. The key transformation agendas in the region that we are exploring through foster health include innovative methods for improving soil health and agricultural practices in maize production systems, as well as efforts to diversify away from maize to improve climate resilience and human and animal nutrition. Large scale land acquisitions and investments in irrigation infrastructure and inputs in order to improve total productivity and excess production for export markets. The transition from domestic and local level supply of food, such as fresh fruits and vegetables, towards export markets as a means to grow the rural and food sector economy. And diversification of diets away from the over-reliance on cereals and towards an increased consumption of animal and plant-based proteins. In relation to these food system transformations, Foster Health aims to improve our understandings of complex food system dynamics and the interactions between human, animal and environmental health. We will simulate these interactions within a novel, integrated and participatory modelling framework to explore the implications of food system changes into the future against a backdrop of changing climates. By collaborating with a diverse range of stakeholders in exploring pathways of food system transformation into the future, we hope to generate new insights and evidence that can inform policy and practice at multiple levels. We aim for this collaboration to be inclusive and equitable, recognising that there may be multiple and competing priorities for food system change across the region and that multiple voices need to be heard. We see stakeholder engagement as critical to achieve this in several ways. In co-designing and directing the priority areas and questions that we are addressing in the project in helping to identify plausible pathways of food system change that we can evaluate, in interpreting the evidence that we're generating and ensuring that it's grounded in context-specific understandings of food system dynamics, in helping translate this evidence into appropriate and timely messages for policymaking and practitioners, and in supporting the communication and dissemination of this information to these audiences. The impact of this work will depend critically on engagement and participation from people interested in exploring and affecting food system change in our focal countries. And so if you're interested in our work, then we'd love to hear from you.